Hey, this is Marche, and I am back with my second planner flip through from 2021. This is my, um, I call it my home planner, and I just write stuff that I have to do at the house. So this is a vertical, a classic vertical happy planner. I don't usually go all out in this planner, so you're going to see a lot of thrown together spreads but this is january nothing major happened in january except i have a lot of birthdays and then well you know the storming of the capital that hot mess of a situation so then we go into um basically a bunch of printables i use a ton of printables from Victoria Thatcher and a Facebook group called My Life Planners. So the lady who runs that group, she used to just create a bunch of um, printables for free for the classic happy planner. And then she started something where you pay like $5.00. And you get access to all her files so it's definitely worth it i love her stuff she does a lot of fandom things but this is not from either i think i just got this from um pinterest a nice little winter spread so besides the storming of the capital and me binge watching queen's gambit nothing really happened this week so this is a my life planners printable the clueless kit trying to see what did i do i don't even know like what was i wasn't oh i had a book club for where the crawdads sing played some sims i watched outside the wire on netflix which was okay oh and then i watched like what was it season five the final episodes of Ozark and it left me an emotional wreck. The scene with the brother, if you know, you know. So good. Ozark is like one of the best shows on Netflix in my opinion. So this was inauguration week. This is another My Life Planners kit. I had a planner zoom. I was catching up on Grey's Anatomy. And then I finished The Undoing. That was good. I think that was on HBO. And then I started watching Outlander again. So this is the printable I decided to use. And I have these Outlander scripts from Chic Street Sticker Boutique. They're foiled. And I think Lavender. Love those. So yeah. I love Outlander. The new season is actually coming on next week, so I'm excited about that, even though I'm behind. All right, so this monthly, I did slightly better. You know, just using my stash, throwing together some Happy Planner stickers and Simply Gilded Washi, and I think that's a Simply Gilded box from a sampler. Love this one, this Barbie kit from My Life Planners. It was just perfect and perfect for February and just so fun and pink. Um, I have all these doodle boxes from Sticker Geek Designs. You can use Marche25 to save at that shop. All of my coupon codes will be listed below. So check them out to save some money. So I love these um, bow seals. These are from uh, Box and Pip. And then Simply Gilded, of course. So this is a good week. I watched Malcolm and Marie, which was just a hot, crazy, crazy movie. And um, Ma Rainey, that um, movie on Netflix. I got these stickers from Hobby Lobby a while ago, and I just paired them with some stuff from my Happy Planner books and kit leftovers. This is really cute. My favorite washies from Simply Gilded are the inverted washi. The, the metallic washies. They're so freaking pretty. Then we have this Betty Boop kit. 
which paired perfectly with that red polka dot simply gilded washi so cute um what did i do i started wonder woman the first one i did not like that movie the luminaries i watched some good girls season two was obsessed and then finished off february with another my life planners printable like basically the whole month i like this one because it was different with the blue so tried to switch it up a little bit all right and so this monthly spread features that rainbow stardust washi from simply gilded and then all these stickers are from a dollar tree sticker set i'm always here for a little dollar tree sticker set and my little doodle boxes from sticker geek designs which i love then we go into the first week of march and i use the super mario kit which is so old i think uh, this is from uncommon plans maybe this is one of the only happy planner kits i've ever purchased because like i said i usually just use printables i won a giveaway a planner giveaway this week i watched the u.s versus billy holiday which was an amazing movie on hulu if you want to go check that out oh coming to america the sequel came out this week which was pretty it was cute i didn't hate it then back to the printables this is the tinkerbell one when i when March hits, I'm just like pulling all the green or rainbow spreads from my planner because that is what gives me March vibes. So I love how this came out. I had a book club for this book called Love is a Revolution. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. It, was, <laughs> it wasn't a horrible book, but it just, it wasn't the best. And they tore that book up in the book club. Like, girl, what is this? So this was one year since we got shut down for COVID. It's crazy. Did some shopping. I binged the one on Netflix, which I think it got canceled after one season, but I loved that show. Like I got my entire life and I started catching up on Vikings. Loved that show as well. And then I hosted a family virtual Jeopardy game, which was a ton of fun as well. Then we have this Care Bears kit. The printing on this, the print quality is a mess. So I would actually like to do another Care Bears spread. But yeah, this is what I threw together this week. I'm gonna just do the first six months, y'all. I love this one, Garfield, so fun. And I'm really vibing with orange and green like bright orange bright green i'm feeling those colors i feel like because i don't see them a lot in the planner community except like around halloween and so i'm like give me all the orange and green kits moving on to april some more hobby lobby stickers paired with my favorite simply gilded washi of course and then this kit, I have no idea where I got these full boxes from. Somewhere online, maybe Pinterest. I went and did like a deep dive on Pinterest years ago. So who knows where I got these from. But this is a Disney kit and it's a lot of fun. It's very different. And then I got these rainbow raindrop kit. Well, stickers. They're actually stickers because when I posted this, somebody thought these are full boxes. <laughs> but they're stickers from Hobby Lobby, I think. We're going to go with Hobby Lobby. So yeah, this week I was just binge watching the boys and shopping and working. I think I was supposed to have a book club, but it probably got delayed. Um... I had a picnic this week. This was cute. A little spring spread. This is a Victoria Thatcher's kit that was made for a big happy planner. 
but you know, it came together regardless. I started watching Kenan, which is um, a sitcom featuring Kenan from Kenan and Kel. What's his name? I forgot his last name. But y'all know who I'm talking about. He has his own show now. And I think it got, yeah, he got a season two. It's a really cute show. He plays a single dad. Love this. I don't know where. I think I got these stickers from Joann's. They're probably Daryl Lizzie stickers. If you are in the scrapbooking community, then you know what I'm talking about. But super cute. The washi is perfect. Love it all. All right, we actually get to a decent looking monthly from May where I started marking some of the shows and movies I wanted to watch. Jupiter's Legacy was a fail. Did not watch that. I I don't think I watched any of this stuff except Run the World on Stars. Love that. Belle is my favorite princess. So I used this Victoria Thatcher kit and I just cut it down because it was made for a big happy planner. I made another lasagna and... Hmm. Talk to family. And we have a grease kit from Victoria Thatcher. This is cute. And then just used a random sticker kit. Not sticker kit, sticker sheet from Joann's. Another Victoria Thatcher situation. I loved this washi, this green spring polka dot washi. All of these were cute. I think I just got the yellow one and this one, but they're just, they're so pretty. Oh, I read Clara in the Sun. Y'all, that was the worst book I read the, last year. It was, oh, it was so bad, it was so bad. <laughs> it was just a whole mess. I went to see Cruella, which was really good. Did I go see it this week? Yeah, I did. Um, I was watching Assembled, WandaVision. I don't really like the Assembled show because I like behind the scenes stuff and I love Marvel. So I've been enjoying those episodes. Um, my mom got a house this week, which was cool because she had been looking for months and y'all know the market is crazy right now. And I read The Concrete Rose while I um, listened to the audiobook, which was amazing. You know, I wish I could say the same about Clara and the Sun. <laughs> like, even Mark did, I'm loving Concrete Rose. Then we have June, a nice summer kit vibes here. Loki came out this month. So, the first week of June is usually um, National Donut Day, and I have a lot of donut stickers because apparently people go hard for donuts in the planet community, so I'm always getting donut stickers. So I'm just trying to use them all up. Oh, and I had that book club for Clara and the Sun. A whole mess. And then we had a Cruel Summer watch party. That was a fun time when we were obsessing over Cruel Summer. Fun times, a nice print spread. I believe this week was his birthday. I watched Raya and the Last Dragon, which was a cute book. I finished reading Coretta Scott King's memoir, which was pretty cute. Um, More Cruel Summer. Donated a whole bunch of stuff, like went through my whole house and just start donating all kind of stuff. I flooded, <laughs> I flooded my bathroom at 2 a.m. Y'all, that was a whole situation. Like, let's just move on. <laughs> like, I just had a lot going on. Um, what else? So, Loki came out this week. Got some happy mail, but you know, that's like a weekly thing. It's a sad week if we don't get happy mail. <laughs> um, I finished the Gilded ones. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. I posted a giveaway, grocery shopping, did some Father's Day stuff. Oh, and this is when I started my Harry Potter 
marathon. I rewatched all the movies, got my entire life, because I haven't watched them in forever. So this is another Dollar Tree sticker set paired with Simply Gilded Washi. And this is an old sticker. Like, I don't even remember where I got that from. But one of the first stickers I've ever purchased. So old. And how cute are these Cookie Sticker Co. Harry Potter girls? So yeah. Oh, so this week I went to go see um, Fast and the Furious. And what else did I do? I finished the final revival of Opal and Neve. That book was good. I'm pretty sure I wrote this wrong. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is that not? I don't know. I'm having a moment. Okay. Used a bunch of leftover 4th of July stickers from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is where it's at when it comes to stickers. Uh, loved this. Another My Life Planner's printable the scandal kit love this thought it was perfect for the fourth of july i won a plan a hannah giveaway this week and had lunch with my dad went to the outlet we had a barbecue um barbecue at my papa's house a wasp nest okay all right, this was the week Black Widow came out. Amazing movie, amazing, amazing, amazing. FedEx lost my HelloFresh box and then HelloFresh was trying to trip, so I had to call them and basically show out so that I could get a refund. But yeah, this was a good week because that movie was amazing. And I think I started watching Start. Yep, yeah, I started watching Startup on Netflix, which it's an awesome show. So many good shows. Use this sticker set, the Looney Tunes, for the release of the new Space Jam with LeBron James. It was better than I thought it would be. So as long as you go into it expecting something different from the original, <laughs> which is what it is, then you'll be fine. It was nice National Ice Cream Day on the 18th, and I started watching Ted Lasso, which was like one of my favorite shows ever from last year. And then we started reading this depressing book for book club called My Dark Vanessa, which is a beautiful novel, but it is hella depressing. Just a heads up. Oh, so this is, okay. So I just did a National Ice Cream Day kit the week after. So these stickers are from Dollar Tree, and then all the washi is from Simply Gilded, of course. Oh, y'all, have y'all seen Last Letter from Your Lover on Netflix with, is her name Shalane? The lead from Secret Life of an American Teenager. She, she did that. That was a beautiful movie. Then we have a, another printable for the release of Jungle Cruise with The Rock and Emily Blunt. Love that movie. I heard it's getting a sequel, which I'm here for. Um, went to Walmart. National Planner Day is on August 1st. I need to mark that in my planners for this year. We have a little a completely empty monthly for August with some fruit stickers from Hobby Lobby. And then I think this was national. Yeah, I love random holidays. So if I can have a kit to match a random holiday, I'm going to do it. So this was for Chocolate Chip Cookie Day, August 4th. And I had this perfect kit of the Cookie Monster, a printable from My Life Planners. And use blue pen. This is rare when you do a little multicolored pen because they do not elevate a spread at all but yeah oh my dad's podcast premiered this week it's called idiot box so you can check them out on facebook and youtube and they've been going strong every thursday this is an amy tangerine sticker book with some more simply gilded this was like her neon release so these are cute Oh, we had a book club for Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, 
love her. Oh, and then there was, a, I think this was the first planner meetup I went to. So good. Okay, and then this is, I think this is like National Honeybee Day. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. I just probably didn't mark it. Or I can't find it. So... I don't know. Did I go to the dentist? Oh, my papa decided he wanted to be a magician this week. And yeah, it led to a whole... A whole thing. His name is Papa the Great. And he wants to be a magician. That's his little side hustle. <laughs> it's hilarious. My best friend had a baby this week. This is the printable for the second Grease movie. This one is my favorite one. The first one is cute, but this was the one. Like, this is the one where my siblings and I watched it a million times and know all the songs by heart and just got our entire lives. So, yeah. Had to use this, and I feel like I've used this a couple times. Have a little Pirates monthly situation. This is Harry Potter theme for Back to Hogwarts week. So all of these stickers on the sidebar are from a foil sticker pack from DNR Paper. I don't think she has those anymore. They're old. And then I have like a Harry Potter sticker book. I love Harry Potter. So I have all the things. Harry Potter. Little random sunflower spread. Um, oh, I thought I was going to do two parts, but clearly I'm not. Let's just keep going to the end, y'all. <laughs> okay, this is a This Is Us. This Is Us kit. I am so behind on this show, y'all. I think I'm on, like, season two. Like, how sad is that? But what happened was, the first season was amazing, and then the second season, I was crying, like, every single episode. And I was like, who just wants to cry every single episode? Like, anybody got time? But one day, one day I will <laughs> catch up. Little sticker pack. This is cute little neon situation. Another pirates kit. Loved this. We're like in oct. No, we are about to be in October. October monthly got no love <laughs> whatsoever, which is crazy because October is my favorite month in the planner community. Like I love Halloween kits. Like, I feel like all the fun stuff happens in October. So, we have a Scooby-Doo kit. I've used this, like, several times. This printable. And this cute little calendar sticker from Made with Southern Love. Who I have a PR code for as well. And I use all her doodles. Planner Meetup is hers. Checkout is hers. Like, I go hard for Made with Southern Love. She has so much cute stuff in her shop. A little Vampire Diaries action for October. Loved this. Oh, but our whole department got promoted this day. Well, department, office. Yeah, all of us got promoted. I had a book club for seven days in June. I enjoyed this book, got my entire life, but everybody else in my book club hated it. But I did not care because I loved it. It was so good. Oh, Lord, tearing stuff up. Okay. This was my little old Dollar Tree washi. So was this? Oh, nope. This was not Halloween week. Just another Halloween spread. Um, It's Christmas movie time. So this is when the Christmas movie started on October 22nd. And y'all, I go hard for Christmas movies. Like, it's a whole thing. I print out the list from Lifetime and Hallmark. I highlight the ones that I need to be watching. My Christmas tree usually has to be up in time for the first Christmas movie. So the goal was to get it up by the 22nd, but I don't think it went up until like the week after. But I go hard for Christmas movies. So then we have Halloween week. 
just used some die cuts from Michaels. And I don't even know where I got this washi from. Okay. Oh, this was, I wanted to listen to more albums this year. I make a lot of these random lists for my planner, little trackers. I love this. Let me check this out. I love this um, monthly because I just like space things, like space celestial like all that stuff and I think this just came out super cute so it's one of my faves and these are some of the albums I listened to last year then National Candy Day is the week after Halloween most of the time I believe um so this is a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory kit from Victoria Thatcher. This is from My Life Planners, a Hamilton kit. So good. Love this play. I went to go see it in person. Not I went to go see the touring one, so not the OGs. And I'm surprised I haven't watched the OG performers on Disney Plus. I really need to do that this year. I love that play. Then we have a Toy Story kit. This came out so good with this pop-up sticker from, I don't know, y'all, wherever I got it. <laughs> with this inverted washi. I love Toy Story kits. Like, Toy Story is one of my favorite Pixar movies. So I used this kit for my little brother and sister's birthday. It's both of their birthdays on the um, 21st. Then we have Versus, that hot mess Versus with Shaka Khan and Stephanie Mills this week. Whew, Watching Christmas movies, Thanksgiving week, so we spent a lot of time with family, had several days off from work, bought all the things, had horrible cramps. Another monthly that got no love. <laughs> December. Just horrible. This is my 30th birthday spread. Love it. I had lunch with my friends, dinner with family. I had a good birthday. I had lots of good times. This kit is from Sprinkle to Bits. I have a cold from them as well. I think this is one of her only foiled kits that she did but y'all stay tuned because sprinkle to bits is about to drop a reformat that is going to blow your mind and if you've seen like the previous layout a format of their kits you're about to be shook because it's so good okay so this is the week i went to germany Loved this sticker. I scrapbook, y'all. So I have a bunch of other stickers that I pull into spreads. So I flew to Germany this week. Lots of time on the plane. Then spent Christmas in Germany and France. Had a good time. Let's go see Spider-Man. Um, we basically did all the things. Went to a bunch of Christmas markets. <laughs> Try lots of food, had a good time. Had to get a COVID test on Christmas Day in order to fly out the next day. But yeah, had a fabulous time in Germany. And then to finish up this spread, I have this kit from BNR Paper, um, a Christmas at Hogwarts kit. So yeah, super cute. So that is everything in my home planner from last year. Stay tuned.